Good morning, everybody. Santara Susan Bohorek with you on this Wednesday holiday week. We don't know what day it is over here. Hope you're making it a wonderful Wednesday out there. Well, we have a lot going on here at Santara Northern Virginia Medical Center. We have Community Day less than four weeks away. It's going to be a great family friendly, fun, free event here on the campus of Santero Northern Virginia Medical Center. It's going to feature a lot of great times, plus a chance for you to see the kind of services that are being offered in your community for your loved ones. And one of the amazing services we provide here is at the Santero Wound Healing Center with Medical Director Dr. Carol Shapiro. Dr. Hey. Shapiro, hello. Hello, how are you, Susan? I'm great. Everyone knows Dr. Shapiro. She's been serving our community since, I don't want to embarrass her, but since the early 70s. Uh, plastic surgeon, uh, you do amazing things for our community each and every day. Tell us a little bit about the Wound Healing Center. Well, Susan, the Wound Healing Center started over nine years ago, but it was only part-time. And then our administration realized that there was a need for it to be full-time and that's when I came on the staff. We have clinic every single day from 8 to 5 and we do have walk-ins. You don't, you don't need an appointment unless your insurance requires it, but under most circumstances you can just call us and make an appointment to see wounds that have not healed in a reasonable period of time. What do I mean by reasonable? Wounds should heal in two to three weeks. If you are diabetic, if you have vascular if issues, uh, if you have infections, they may be delayed, and that's when you need to give us a call. And yeah, I used to always wonder, like, what exactly is wound healing? But also, we've talked a little bit about folks who receive radiation for maybe, you know, breast cancer treatments. Yes, there are special areas. We're using hyperbaric oxygen now to treat some of those things. But folks who have radiation sometimes get what's called radiation burns and they need us to help them. Folks who are diabetic get ulcers and they need help with the pushed oxygen. This is 100% oxygen given over a two hour period of time. It looks almost like a little like torpedo. Um, tell folks at home what exactly this HBO unit is. I mean, it's, it's maybe, you know, I, I used to hear of it with Michael Jackson back in the day saying, oh, he slept in this hyperbaric chamber. But for others, you, were, you had even mentioned um, those in the Navy, perhaps, or divers. The divers use it when they come up too quickly and they get the... Um, oh, the bends, right? The bends, yeah. Uh, but the um, Michael Jacksons of the world <laughs> use it to give them a feeling of energy and to give them a feeling of uh, exuberance. Um, most of them don't do 100%. The tanks that are available for outside don't do about 60%. We're using 100% for medical reasons. And we have a limited number of diagnoses for which we can use hyperbaric oxygen. We can use it for diabetic ulcers. We can use it for vascular disease. We can use it for flaps for reconstruction, such as in breast uh, reconstruction and um, we can use it for burns and primarily those are the main reasons we use it. I remember when we um, had the ribbon cutting last year I spoke with a gentleman who was a, a patient of yours and he had uh, he had dealt with some burns as a child he had some diabetic issues and and you just said you know wow I mean the results were just remarkable so this is really giving people just a, it's giving you one more tool in the arsenal to treat folks yeah and the one thing I left out that is really important that people hear is if you have had radiation treatment to a breast or a prostate and you are having burning or bleeding or an open wound this is the treatment and the beauty of it is it isn't continuous it, it's treatment over a period of about six weeks and it opens up those blood vessels it feeds the tissue healthy blood blood cells there is healing and it's done and it makes a tremendous difference we have seen incredible differences in patients with those entities. That's amazing, that is amazing. All right, so where exactly are we located for those who don't know? And I think it's just really exciting because you know, in Northern Virginia, the traffic's a bear. Anyone who's been in Northern Virginia, you know the traffic's it's a true. nightmare. It's so true. it's so exciting that we're able to offer the folks in the Woodbridge community um, this close to home option. 
Well, we are right here at Centero Hospital. We are in the building right next door to Centero Hospital. We are on the first floor and we are in suite 130. Uh, telephone number, let me give it to you, is 703-523-0660. And as I said, you don't need a referral in most instances to come to our clinic. Wonderful. A little bit on a lighter note, we're talking a little bit about Community Day, and Dr. Oh, yes. Shapiro and the oh, team yes. will be out. Are you excited? I heard uh, I heard you have a game on tap. Oh, <laughs> we are excited, and we're going to have fun, and everybody's trying to figure out what they can contribute to make it fun for everybody. So we've got a couple of ideas, but do come out. We're going to have some pens, and we're going to have some flashlights, and we're going to just explain what it is we do and how we do it, and, you know... If you got a little sore on your arm you want me to look at, I'll be there. I'll be glad to do it. If it's anywhere else, maybe you better make an appointment. <laughs> That's right. We don't want anyone getting picked up for indecency at the family fun Absolutely event. Absolutely <laughs> not. Thank you so much, Dr. Shapiro. As Dr. Shapiro said, of course, there'll be, um, we'll have different little fun giveaways like pens and everything like that, lip balms, flashlights, but we're also going to have a lot of fun events for the kids. We're going to have um, a puppet show and the kids are going to get a free book after the puppet show. I've seen the puppet show. It's fantastic. Uh, also sponsored by our friends at Optima Health. Uh, we're going to have face painting. There's not just going to be one face painter. You know, when you go to an event and the kids are waiting in a line a mile long and mom and dad are ready to pull out their hair. No, we've got three face painters. So it's going to be a one-stop shop and it's going to be right there in out fun face painting and the kids are going to be great and happy about it. There's going to be balloon animals. Uh, there's just going to, there's going to be a canine demonstration. Uh, we are also doing a food drive for our neighbors in need. We're going to put that information out there. Um, it, this is a free event, but we were hoping that we know this is a very generous community and we're hoping that you bring your generosity along with a canned food item, um, a dried item, non-perishable item um, that we can give to the food bank here for folks who are barely making it, um, who are living literally hand to mouth. And I know this is a very generous community, so I know that everybody will be willing to help out there. I'm going to be putting up some more information over the coming weeks, but we are just so excited about everything going on here. We hope you are too. In the meantime, make it a wonderful day out there. Everybody, it's a wonderful Wednesday. Make it as much, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.